Now, this is one. I do have a scan of this somewhere. I'll have to pull that out and post it because it's so much more dramatic when you can see the entire lesion from low power. And this is as 2x, is as low as I can go. Hey, wait, what's this structure right here? Look at that, ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Yeah, that's dense regular connective tissue. That's collagen, not nerve, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So where do you think we are here? What is this? That is synovium. Very good. Synovium looks almost like an epithelial layer, but it's not held together very well, right? It's like if histiocytes all got together and kind of made a half-hearted attempt at making an epithelium, that's what synovium looks like to me. They're kind of got pink cytoplasm-like histiocytes, and they're packed up together and making a layer, but it's not a tight layer, right? Epithelium is supposed to be nice and tight and keep stuff totally confined, and these guys are just kind of like hanging out together like kind of loosely, right? They're, they got space between them. So I feel like that's how, if you're a beginner, that's kind of how I recognize synovium is it's a lining of cells that have rounded nuclei, but they're nowhere near as organized as a real epithelial layer would be. And that's because these are not really an epithelium. So we do have a synovial lined space. So that means we're either in a joint or, you know, a bursa space could look like that. But given this big, huge slab of tissue here, well, I'll tell you right now, we're in a big joint, right? Mm -hmm. So what would you make of a lesion like this? It's... It looks like a mature adipose tissue. Yeah. And there is adipose tissue around the joint as well as fibrous tissue, but this is like pushed into the joint, right? With these multiple polypoid shapes. So this thing is an unusual, an unusual beast, a good kind of beast, not a bad one. It's called lipoma arborescens, or I think the other name people use is synovial lipomatosis. This basically is benign fat that's pushing up and making these polypoid projections into the synovium. And on uh, intraoperatively, oftentimes these have a polypoid protrusion into the synovial space and grossly also can have like kind of frond-like looking um, appearance. And, um, and I have seen these in conjunction with other things. Like I've seen people that had pigment and synovitis that also had synovial lipomatosis or lipoma arborescens, like kind of tree-like, branch-like lipoma lipomatosis, excuse me. And then I think I've got another piece from the same same case. Oh yeah. So again, just to show the polypoid configuration. And then also when you see polypoid projections of synovium without a bunch of fat in them, um, you can also think of a, a papillary synovial hyperplasia, right? Reactive hyperplasia of the synovium, like you can see in, you know, around uh, 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 osteoarthritis or other reactive conditions of the joint, you sometimes see polypoid projections that are just a reactive process there. So that's another thing that can give you polypoid um, projections of synovium into the joint space. Kind of cool to look at though, right? It's like mm -hmm. this big, um, big protrusion of fat lined by synovium into the joint. I mean, look at how big that is. Big, huge nodule. Pretty cool. Lipoma arborescens. Okay, so here's what the whole slide image um, looks like. Pretty amazing, huh? I told you it was awesome. And uh, you can see the, the massive polypoid projection into the joint space and kind of that frond-like uh, growth here. And I'll put a link uh, down in the video description uh, so you can go check this slide out for yourself um, on, uh, online. And uh, I forgot to mention when I was talking with Fatima that you often see a lot of dilated vessels in the adipose tissue, as you can appreciate here in uh, lipoma arborescens, and also you can see some uh, mixed inflammatory cells as well. So uh, make sure to go check this slide out um, so you can explore it for yourself.